Hello again, everybody. I'm meteorologist Tim Jones. Over the last few years, more and more forecast information has popped up on social media. People posting images of forecast models predicting snowfall amounts a foot, two feet, three feet, the coldest uh, air on record about to hit the United States. So what does all this mean? Who's right? Who's wrong? And who should you trust to get your forecast on a daily, weekly, or monthly basis? Well, stick around. I'll answer those questions coming up. Six to 12 inches in some places, especially in north central Iowa. So the subject today is forecasting for clicks and views, that hype train when it comes to winter weather forecasting. And you know, we've all seen on our social media people sharing these forecasts or what looks to be a forecast that's got thousands of comments and shares and uh, likes or dislikes. And the problem with this is that with the advent of so much information on the internet that anybody can really grab our forecast model data, grab an image and post it and create this hype train. So it begs the question for for most people that want an accurate forecast is what is accurate and when should I start tracking the forecast and if something changes, well, is that what was really forecast or did I just remember something from five, seven, ten days ago and I just thought that that was the forecast and it didn't change? Well, I'm going to talk about that now because there's a lot of elements in their winter forecasting that have to come together for it to become an accurate or close to accurate forecast. You know, we don't always get it right, but lately we do. The problem is, is there's all these convoluted forecasts out there from people, I like to joke, posting in their mom's basements that really have, that really convolute the forecast and confuse the general public. So here's a page, and this is just one of a couple that I absolutely dislike here in the Midwest, of uh, somebody that has no meteorological forecasting experience, but posts a model image and uh, it gets all kinds of shares. Here I'm going to uh, scroll down, and this is a post from just over the last couple days from this meteorolo meteorologist page that uh, had almost 700 likes, uh, s almost a thousand comments, and over a thousand shares. And this is actually talking about the potential for an Arctic air blast next week here, the first week of uh, of actually of uh, February and the problem with this is is yes there is going to be some Arctic air but the big problem with this quote-unquote forecast is this guy showing an image from uh, temperatures off the surface associated with the lower part of the jet stream and nobody lives in that part of our atmosphere so yes it's going to be cold but this uh, kind of is a misnomer or is misleading for people that see this thinking oh my gosh it's going to be a super deadly cold outbreak of cold weather which it will be cold of course minnesota the upper midwest the dakotas as well as Iowa and Nebraska will get the coldest shot of air at least the beginning of next week or the middle of next week, excuse me. But as that moves out, it will move out fairly quickly within a couple of days. It's not going to be a long duration event. So I wanted to just point this out from this page. Don't follow it, don't share their stuff. This is one, another one is Snow Day. I'll go over that here in just a moment, but let's go back to uh, this particular graphic and let's move beyond this and take a look at the outlook for next week. Now there could be some chances for snow and there more than likely will be. The problem is this is a week away. It's going to change many, many times. I'm gonna give you an example of how this particular forecast model changed over three different runs today since midnight. So again, we will have some Arctic air, some frigid air coming in behind us. It'll probably last on Thursday and Friday, then move out and we'll start to moderate a little bit here in the Midwest. Now the upper Midwest, Midwest rather, will be a little uh, different, but overall there will be some chances for snow in the middle of next week and definitely some colder temperatures coming in, but it's not worth uh, running to the store at this point or creating hype, getting bread and milk, or sharing this out on social media. So again, the red, the yellow, the green, just like our traffic lights, be wary of social media. In other words, uh, if you see people or groups posting snowfall to totals or temperatures a week or out or more, 
them. And better to take it with a huge grain of salt. It's fun to talk about, but it just know it's going to change. Any of these groups, especially on YouTube, that promote hate hype uh, by promoting clicks or uh, or uh, you know trying to get views on their social media page, it's all hype and that's all they're doing. So again, avoid snow day on Facebook, avoid meteorologists, and there's a bunch of other ones as well. So as we get into the middle uh, column here under the yellow, show some caution when it comes to uh, knowing that forecasts can and do change hourly, daily, weekly. It, the forecast is always changing and know that going into this as well as one model image doesn't guarantee the future. Again, it's always changing. It's up to us to interpret all this data and put it into a, a, a good explainer in terms of a graphic or a good uh, comprehensible forecast. The other thing is uh, just don't go by somebody who has a huge social media following or has a whole bunch of subscribers on their YouTube channel. It doesn't mean they're accurate and it doesn't mean they know what they're talking about. So when you get into the right column or the green column, forecast with greater ac accuracy, well, I recommend following your local National Weather Service office or your local TV station or radio station as well. A lot of those TV and radio stations work together to get a forecast out. A lot of local TV meteorologists will actually record the weather for local TV stations. There's meteorological services that uh, provide forecasts for radio stations, and they're generally pretty reliable. Although on radio, a lot of those forecasts can be recorded days up to days in advance. Now also, don't buy the hype train. Any forecast outside of 70 two hours usually can change quite a bit the more the closer you get to the event whether it's an arctic air break, outbreak or a snowfall uh, event or both it gets more accurate the closer you get to the event that's just common sense so that's just a little word to the wise in terms of uh, when you see things uh, regarding the forecast uh, floated, floating around rather on social media just to pay good credence to that now here's an example of how things change just in one day. This is of the American model, the, the global model uh, that we ran today on Wednesday overnight at midnight, the 6Z run. Here's where it showed snowfall potentially from Iowa, Nebraska, and Kansas. Well, fast forward six hours later to the 12Z run, and here's how it forecasted for next week for potential for snow. Almost completely took it out at the same time for next Tuesday at three o'clock. So you can see just in one model run how much things changed. And then let's go to this afternoon or the 18Z run again for next Tuesday at three o'clock. And you can see it's almost absent of uh, any snowfalls and precipitation uh, along the I-35 corridor to the east over to uh, Illinois in eastern Missouri. It's a little bit of light snow potentially in the, in the northern Rockies and northeast Colorado, but again, no snow. And again, it wants to shift the snow a little bit further to the east. So this is how things change. So if I take the, the forecast graphic here from that ran overnight last night, and I posted this on social media and say, here's what we're looking at a week from now. Well, that's gonna get a lot of shares and a lot of likes and a lot of comments. The problem is, is it changed within a six and 12 hour period? So again, take these forecasts with a huge grain of salt as you see them on social media. Now, the other thing is there will be a cold front sweeping through next week by the middle to latter part of next week, depending on where you live and where you're watching from. It will bring a trough of low pressure, will bring some Arctic air, especially for the Northern Plains and upper Midwest, but it should move out uh, fairly quickly, especially in the central and Northern Plains. So there might, and those are just overnight lows. We'll see a single, digits to double digits for daytime highs but again this isn't the coldest air on record like the meteorologist page shows nor will it be record setting by any stretch so again you have to take these things with a big grain of salt going forward so remember don't buy into the hype just because someone has a lot of subscribers or a lot of clicks doesn't mean they're right or they even know what they're talking about but again Trust your local meteorologist, your weather service office, your radio station, your TV station, and uh, pay attention to the forecast as it changes uh, from a week out up until the day of the event.